Hi! Welcome to today's 3-minute lesson. Today, we will learn how to calculate rates and speeds. To ensure safe road travels, limits such as speed limits and maximum load capacity of vehicles are set. Have you noticed the ratios of two different related measures while on the road? This comparison of two different quantities is called rate. Usually, rates relate to time as in rate of change in distance per unit time. Some examples are meter per second and kilometer per hour. Such rate of change in distance over time is known as the average speed. With that said, the average speed is equal to distance divided by time. Let's have an example. Jake and his dog went on a beach trip. The car traveled 250 kilometers in two and a half hours. What was the average speed of Jake's car? Let's write the formula for finding the average speed. Second, substitute our given values. The distance is 250 kilometers and the time is two and a half hours. Two and a half hours can also be written as 2.5 hours. Now let's divide 250 kilometers by 2.5 hours. We can now say that the average speed of Jake's car is 100 kilometers per hour. Let's try another example. The Gomez family decided to go camping. Their car traveled 700 kilometers in 5 hours and 15 minutes. What is their car's average speed in kilometers per hour? We know that 700 kilometers is the distance. However, notice that the given time is in hours and minutes. We need to make them of the same unit first before we can proceed. Converting 15 minutes to hours, we get 1 fourth hours or 0.25 hours, making our time 5.25 hours. Now that we are all set, we can finally solve for the average speed. The average speed of the Gomez family car is 133.33 kilometers per hour. That was easy, right? But what if our rates do not involve time? What do we do? Don't worry, I got you covered. We'll talk about that in the second part of this episode. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.